Prague, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Starlet of Season 12. We have Goomba Gaming versus Natus Vinceri. And we have quite a nail biter of a best of three going on right here. The German squad Goomba Gaming versus the Ukrainian squad Natus Vinceri. Uh, well, Navi, their, their name needs no introduction, but Goomba Gaming, they did give them a run for their money in game number one after a really impressive level one cliffing from that Rubik Ten player. Seconds remaining. Trap Dandy on the cliff, really messed up the early game, they just went Five downhill from there. Goomba remaining. Gaming got game number one out of that. Navi came back in number two with some uh, very well calculated play. Team Dandy not dying at all did help a lot as well. And Havost stuck to his guns, didn't dive too deep, uh, apart from a one or two fountain dives. But apart from that, he did pretty well, and I'm proud. I'm proud of him. Ten <laughs> seconds uh, but yeah, Goomba Gaming, they've got some guys that are really worth mentioning. Five I think players like Ed, as well as a moment, really uh, did you know jump out at me. I mean, they did do a lot Reserve of time. work on the supports they played. And so far, if I, if I see Goomba Gaming, they do like to run the Enigma a lot. And this time, it's been banned out. Navi says, alright, enough of that nonsense. We go back to OP. We go to X. We go to Dazzle. We play the balance card. And now Shaker and Bad Rider will be the responses here. Not sure, uh, not sure if there's going to be enough to stop the mighty power of X. But uh, we'll see. Goomba Gaming, they have run this Bad Rider three times in a row now. It's, uh, it's becoming quite a tradition for them. And they ban out Shadow Feed and Chen once again. They remove Sniper. Sniper has failed them, so they sack the poor guy. I'm happy to see that the short bastard got beaten up. That's great. Uh, and Storm Spirit being removed by Navi as well for themselves. So, what's it gonna be this Ten time? I'm remaining. excited to see. Uh, whatever it is, just don't give Phobos Spirit Five Breaker again. Remaining. That guy does not know how to have fun. Mm mm. Mm mm. Oh doesn't know how to have fun on Spirit Breaker and he's not one of those crowd pleasers on Spirit Breaker that's for sure but hey hey who am I to judge Spirit Breaker is not for everyone man Spirit Breaker is not for everyone some people just get cold feet uh, but yeah uh, Navi they have that fourth band coming out now what's it gonna be five seconds remaining I think Ancient Apparition does come to mind here. Reserve I think time. AA is a good combination with Earth Spirit, uh, Earth Shaker as well as the Bat Rider. Wow, Navi, selling out here, going X, going Juggernaut. Okay, <laughs> okay. Wow, going full out OP here. So why not, right? I mean, when I say OP, for you guys that are not familiar with the meta game, we're just making a joke. You know, a lot of circle jerking about the whole OP heroes in public games with the Juggernaut, the Axe, the Troll. I mean Troll is banned out so these guys they ban out two of the uh, they ban out one of the OP guys and the Holy Five Spinner 3 I think um, the Holy Spinner 3 Spinner 3 I don't know how you want to pronounce it but Axe, Juggernaut and Troll the three heroes that are considered really really strong at the moment and they pick two of them ban one of them I mean what could go wrong right? What could go wrong? Uh, Goomba, what's it gonna be? What's the response? I I personally feel that o OD uh, is really strong against the Juggernaut and Axe, but oh, we'll see. Doombringer comes to mind as well. Uh, I think Doom is really strong against uh, Juggernaut. Dazzle could work. Silencer maybe. Uh, X, maybe even a Venomancer if you wanna just mess around with the X's Blink Dagger, it could work. Ten seconds Poison remaining. will be really good against the Dazzle. But yeah, there's your ancient apparition. I mean, Radiant did you really expect head. anything else? Uh, when you pick up a Juggernaut, you pick up a Dazzle. It's uh, only natural you'll see an ancient apparition. The Bat Rider, ancient apparition, Earth Shaker, all that natural synergy uh, for for Goomba Gaming, and they have some great team fight now. Uh, Ancient Apparition is going to make healing ward, uh, healing ward a lot weaker. That, that spell is really good at the moment. And Goomba Gaming, I'd like to see him pick up some old combos with the Chilling remaining. Touch. You know, uh, we think along the lines of Ember Spirit, Weaver. Mm, Weaver is one remaining. of them. I love Weaver with uh, Chilling Touch. It's just so good. Well, we'll see. Uh, what, what, will we give, uh, what will we give Van Score here? Do we give him his Rubik? Aha! Called it! 
Always pick Rubik when you're facing against a Shaker. Because Fissure is just so fun, so satisfying to pick. Uh, and Goomba. What will they get for their middle laner? I would assume they pick their middle laner now. Maybe their core first. They do burn out Bristle back. I think Havos is just too good in that hero, they say. We're gonna just, you know, not give it to him. And. Well, what's it gonna be? It could be mid X, right? Seconds remaining. Could be mid X. Yeah, I just thought about that. It could be mid X. It Five might be mid X here. Oh, okay, no, it's gonna be awfully next. What am I talking about? Phobos X. There's your Venomancer. Are they really. Maybe Maybe they're listening to the stream. I've been calling all these picks. I'm feeling so good about myself right now. Uh, I, I'm actually so. I'm feeling really proud about myself. Calling out the Venomancer picks. So happy. Uh, Ancient Apparition as well. And Goomba. Remaining. They still need a carry hero though. I don't see any carries in this lineup right Five now. It's looking more and more like a mid Venomancer, and I like that kind of Venomancer player as well. I think it's really Look strong to give him a lot of levels, give him up that give him that gill, give him the poison sting. He really has a lot of damage potential that is just unrealized. Uh, in that middle, uh, what, that can only be found in the middle lane or core roll. Even the core roll, you tend to go for the sting build, uh, sting wards. So in the middle lane, you could opt to go for some gale. So we'll see how things actually played here. Oh, Medusa, yeah, Dying yeah, Medusa could have been a uh, hero uh, of choice here for Goomba Gaming because of the stone gaze. Death ball kind of roll. You just roll in for Medusa, Medusa at the front and have all the rest of your guys bring them to her. Uh, or rather, um, if they do try to jump her, you can you can always push her push them back with your Batrider AA or Shaker Phantom Monster. So all that, all that good things so far. Radiant team pick. And we'll see. Puck has been banned here, so no puck for Dendi. So let's get Dondo here. Here, Alina again. I think Alina again could work. Uh, Lina against Venomancer, pretty pretty strong for Lina, I would say. Until Venomancer gets, unless Venomancer gets a Gyo. Uh, well, I would say it's great for Lina, but it's strong enough, it's good enough for Lina because she can Ten poke him from afar remaining. and he can't really do much until he gets the wards up, of course, and then that's gonna be trouble. Five seconds remaining. We'll see. So Zeus. far, it's ooh Zeus for Dendi. So Dendi is Dying gonna make, every, is gonna shock someone up. It's gonna really, really blow some fools up. A lot of good magic damage, a lot of good physical damage on the side. I think this is the best kind of, uh, best kind of composition. Enough magic to make them want to get BKBs, but so much physical damage that BKBs are just not worth it. Wham! Down you go. So Navi is gonna have the Zeus, and. It's looking good. I mean, I can actually this approve of this Nathan's Vincer draft. I think it's a, it's a it's a good one. Navi draft is fun, and we have a Void Picker. All right, Void Picker versus X and Juggernaut. I guess it's kind of warranted. Uh, Void Pickers are less disgusting than X and Juggernaut Pickers. I'm sure some of you guys would agree. More Circle Chuck. Woohoo! All right, Goomba, the German squad. Will they keep their dreams alive? Two one this guy. Two one the suckers, and take out Navi. Or will Navi come back? Make their fans proud and win it back for the team, securing the 72% of those rare betters and the Arcanas and the Lena stashes that I put on. But yeah, all right, Goomba. The Goomba is so adorable. We're gonna wait for the teams to pick up their heroes, and then we're gonna hop right into the match. Ten seconds remaining. Five right. seconds remaining. Still waiting. Five seconds. Okay, gotta go in game and there we go. All right, Goomba, a moment. Sorry, go. All right, we're gonna have Radiant played by Navi for the first time. We have Juggernaut played by Dendi. Oh wow, mid Juggernaut. Oh, it's a Havos X. This is this is something. All right, so we have an interesting build up here. We have DK Phobos on that support Zeus go black on his dazzle surprise surprise. Havos on that X carry Vanscore on the Rubik. We have Dendi playing middle lane Juggernaut. Wow, is this for real? Okay, how are these lanes going to go? Okay, Go Black is heading up top with Vanscore. How are these lanes? Oh, smoke. 
No, 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 no. Four, 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 four. Okay, never mind. <laughs> He's alive. Four, 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 Fisher. Four. Oh, lucky four. <laughs> lucky guy. Oh, man. He's alive. He's still alive. Man, the team fight from Goomba is going to be immense. The Ice Blast with Venomancer Ultimate, that's going to be crazy stuff. Brother of Goblet, you took facial lessons from me, alright? This is a man that can make fun of himself. Well done, alright? Respect to Goblet for that, he knows his mistakes. Alright, I've gotten so much more respect for him because of that. Just because of that. So much more. Alright. Man that can learn to make fun of himself is a great man. Alright, there we go. Dendi picks up the... Up the bounty rune, it will be Phobos middle lane. It's confirmed Phobos mid, then D2 off lane. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> All right, Goomba. We have the we have Chill playing Bat Rider with ED on the Earth Shaker. We have Venomancer played by Iron Man. It's carry Venomancer on the safe lane. A moment, please. On that ancient apparition, solo mid void. What? Wow, okay, we're just switching things up all around the place. There's Zeus middle lane already. Showing them what how it's done. I guess I could have seen it uh, coming away because I, I it just didn't register in my head that a clarity potion, a single clarity potion in the in the Zeus's pouch is a single clarity potion in the Zeus's pouch means mid lane Zeus. And it just didn't occur to me at that point in time, but now it is, and now it is. Zeus now three and one on his uh, last hit score, and we have this uh, AA Earthshaker Venomancer lane. Not gonna make it making full use of Chilling Touch though. We'll see. Vance got wow, getting tomato and potato clap there. That's three smacks and that's half health gone. And go back. Doesn't have heals yet. The Gale comes out onto Dandy. Dandy, oh Dandy, be careful. Dandy's gonna take so much damage from this. Uh, it takes a lot of right clicks to Fisher as well. This is gonna be first blood. <laughs> oh, he stays alive. Okay, Tangles. Uh, one more hit. Would have done him in. Nearly done him in. There, uh, if ED had been a little bit earlier to the party, that would have been an easy kill. Phobos will not be able to do any kind of right click damage to Exist, so I guess he's okay. Especially if Exist does get lucky with the backtracks. And he should be able to get the farm there, there's no stun uh, on Phobos. And Phobos running, running around two ranks in Arc Lightning, okay. Not going for, not going for Bolt. Now, two ranks in Arc Lightning is something I have not seen before, maybe? I, I, I don't know. I mean, it's great because you can keep up the harassment here on the Faceless Void, and arguably, it will not crimp your damage that much. And whoa, what a hell, man. Regeneration. That's gonna be even better. And Exist didn't get any points in Backtrack as well, so he didn't even have faith in RNGesus, and for that, he shall be smite. Uh, but yeah, he's about to see that regeneration rune and go, oh crap. Yeah, Phobos can, aff uh, can afford to take a little bit of damage and zap. Just zap him, man. Just go full on zap. Alright, running in there. Gets a first hit bash. Well, he, he did put his faith in the offensive RNG. Uh, didn't get it in the defensive RNG, though. But Dendi. Zeus now pops that regeneration rune. Zaps the void there. And Void does pick up his magic stick, and Phobos now regener regenerates himself to full life. Exist. It's now got two ranks in the time walk, two ranks in the time lock as well. Iron Man, Poison Sting 1, Gale, level 1. So we're going for Gale, we'll see if he ups that level 2 Gale for now. Gale doesn't do any damage. It's uh, just going to be for the slow, but hopefully he does get more points in it. I think Gale has a lot of potential. Uh, the wards are great, but you know it's a more defensive spell than offensive. Uh, but a good balance of uh, skill points is really where the Venomancer's strength lies in. But you know you can really put out, output a lot of damage. Rank four Venomancer uh, Gale does do 550, so it's quite a lot of damage to be considered here. Phobos still really laying down the law here against this uh, against this at least his face's void in the middle lane, and. This Hellbear Smasher is getting assaulted from all sides. Will the Rubik get it though? No, no Fate Bolt. Alright, they're level 1 still. Now one of the problems with an aggressive tri lane, if you don't uh, don't execute it well, you can really be punished. And now Phobos is about to get caught out here. There's going to be the Illusion Rune snatched up by the Ancient Apparition. And the Observer Ward does scout this gang coming. There was no smoke. It was kind of feeble attempt. 
just to do some intimidation, let the void have a little bit of breathing. But that's about that. Phobos once again tossing out the shocks. We'll get a right click here onto the faceless void. Will there be more though? Is the question. Is that gonna be a lift on? There's a level one fate bolt. Just check out who the illusions are and who they aren't. And so far, chill. Fighting pretty well against uh, Havos, one on one, not too bad. Chill. Does have the bounty rune in his uh, in his pocket. We'll be able to farm up pretty well. And there we go. That's gonna push forward there. All right, man. That's a gold, God's wrath as well. Vance Core is really low level though. The cold feet will latch. It will not. Goblet taking a lot of damage here. Fisher trapping Dandy on the wrong side of the cliff. And now Goblet will grave himself up. Is there a heal bomb? Heal bomb. Dandy getting first blood. Maybe. Dandy first blood. There we go. Dandy first blood. And the shitty wizard was flying in a the smoke there. Luckily for him, then fly into the fray of the battle. That was really close. I think Goomba could have gotten that first blood there, but just so so much juggling here from Navi. Uh Goblack as well as Vance got dropping solo on health. And of course that well timed uh, God's Wrath from Phobos. Uh one of the strengths of the Zeus is really being able to punish uh, opposing trilanes because of their underlevelness. And God's Wrath just doing so much of their damage as, um at level six. So it's really, really strong. The Zeus. Can really snowball really hard here. And the call missing there from Havos. He's just gonna push forward there. Looking for chill. Chill. That's at three ranks. Uh, in that napalm. And now gonna go after Havos there. He might get the kill. It might actually get the kill. Havos does have a 10 stick charge. Then he's a bait. Nope, never mind. Oh, it's a bait. It's definitely a bait. Grave, grave, grave. What? Okay, no, no. It's off cooldown. Okay, it's, it's not on cooldown. So Havos going down there, 5 stick charges, he was baiting there with the 10 stick charges, but unfortunately for him not enough. Faces Void drops the Chronosphere, and they're going to try and find a kill, but it's not going to happen. The Fissure does get used there, Her, uh, Phobos now going in for Edie instead. The Ancients looking to pick him off. Ah, Invisibility Rune, very unfortunate. Rubik, cliff him. Oh, Bash on the first hit, once again, toss him back. The Fissure is available, nope, no mana, just kidding. And exist. He's now gonna run back. More backup coming in here. Goblack looking to pressure this faceless void back, and he will. Rain I think the, the lightning bolt might have scouted this observer. What? Oh, ED. Did we get ED? It's a one point touch. All right, not gonna happen. Chilling touch. Now gonna affect Goblack here. Ooh. Takes a smack of snowball from a moment. And Vanscor coming back to avenge his teammate. But for now, nothing's gonna happen. Oh, there we go. Zap. Can't run from heaven, 2-1, Phobos gets a kill uh, for his team and Goomba lose their Earthshaker. Gold Graph and XP Graph still looking pretty even. In fact, it's actually favoring Goomba uh, on the XP Graph. Looking at the last hits, we have 42 on the, 43 now on the Batrider, 37 on Havos' Axe. And yeah, the Juggernaut, off lane Juggernaut from Dendi, sitting at 33 as well. Now it's got his face boots, got his ring of Basilius, Mask of Madness is going to be next on the line. And the Zeus is going to start dewarding here. Are they going to bolt? Nah, leaves the sentry there, not really important. And yeah, I kind of agree. Pansko getting level 3 now in the middle lane. 7 minutes, four, uh, 40 seconds in. It's just not the not the best game for supports. Level 2 on the Earthshaker, level 3 on the Ancient Apparition, level 3 apiece for Dazzle and Rubik. It's, uh, it's a rough game for support so far, but uh, Dendi is now level 7. He does have Omni Slash. X, 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 gotta get the call there and that's gonna be Omni Slash. Easy kill for them. And he will get that kill. Dunk! And Havos will get that kill there. For his team, 8 minutes in. 3-1, more action going on here. And Phobos uh, being there for the extra XP and the farm as well. Exist uh, now has his Chronosphere up again. Really not trusting in RNG. And this Observer was just going to keep tabs on that Faceless Void there. Meanwhile, RMN has decided to go for three ranks in Gale. Alright. Uh, it's going for three points in Gale. Two points in Poison Sting. Skipping his ultimate for now. Doesn't have the mana pool to support it anyway. And yeah, he's just going to play it cool in the top lane. Going for the Nuki build for Venomancer. But... Unfortunately, that is past the uh, enemy trilane has abandoned the lane. So, wouldn't have as much opportunities. Wouldn't have as much opportunities to do it. And now the Gale is going to help him push pretty well. Vanscore might want to play a little bit careful there, but he does know that the Gale is down. So, not going to be feeling too threatened. The Fissure will come out. There's a the Poison Sting as well. Are we going to kill him? There we go. That's going to be a kill. An ultimate use for the kill though. That 
Yeah, Van Score is going to take over, that's for sure. And no, no, he pops his poison. All right, he pops his stick charge, and there's the heal. Okay, he will survive. He will get past this, and yeah, he will. Just a little bit more. And a great CP in from Goblack will save his life. And they thought he was dead, didn't pursue it, didn't want to push the issue. And stick charges saves lives, so kids, remember to get your stick charge. The Fissure, nearly making all of that go to waste. But it's not going to be the case in this uh, in this game. And Exist, Chronosphere at the ready, he's going to look for a kill there. Dendi gets less sewed up, very interesting. Uh, chill. Really, really getting a lot of space here in this off lane. And he's going to have his uh, Blink Dagger very shortly. Oh, the call comes in, chill. In a lot of trouble, gets himself called up. And there we go, Dunk once again. And the God's Wrath! Meanwhile, top lane, are we going to have more aggression going on here? No, it's just the God's Wrath for extra burst damage. And 10 minutes in, this tier 1 tower about to take a fall. 100 health, yeah, that is in deny range now. In deny range. Goblet's gonna do it. Is he gonna get do it in time? 53. 37. Oh wow, the double TP is coming in. Just Baden. Just Baden. The lift up here from ED ED. Out of position and a chop from Dandy. Denies the tower, denies the uh denies the Earthshaker. The opportunity for a fissure as well. And RMN. Kinda regretting his venomous gill build now, I think. I think he is kind of regretting that build now. This build is really good uh, in the mid lane, I think, when there's no one to deny. But I guess that's not going to be the case. Uh, Phobos has been farming. This guy really likes farming. He's even getting a Midas. And Dendi, Mask of Madness is complete. For an offlane Juggernaut, this is pretty darn impressive. Let's look a, li look a little bit at net worth. We have 4.4. Uh, on that uh, 4.5 now on Dendi's Juggernaut. We have 4k uh, on that Zeus. About to pick up this Hand of Midas. He has a little bit more to go before he gets there. And Standard exists. Morbid Mask. So Mask of Madness, Milstrom, Standard build here for that void. Chill. The Lasso. Gonna be able to use that with the Blink Tanker very, very shortly. Uh, three ranks in the sticky napalm and one point in the flame break. ED, two points in the fissure. Still level four. Really, really under leveled here in this game. It's got one k net worth. I mean, the supports on the Navi side are not exactly uh, super strong either. But you know, this Earthshaker is really, really far behind. But then Earthshaker is picked for that really potent ability fissure. So it's not too bad. But exists. Chronosphere ready. When's he gonna use it? We'll see. Dropping the bolt once again. And Phobos. He's gonna find himself his hand of Midas. Yeah, it's gonna fly out to him right now. And well, I, I'm not sure about the math on hand of Midas Zeus, but I have seen it done uh, quite a couple of times now. So it must bear some merit, I guess. Uh, Zeus doesn't farm as well, especially in the sport role. But admit. Amid Zeus getting Hannah Midas could be great as well. It does make you a lot less reliant on kills. Vanscor getting bashed non-stop by Roshan. That is not good. Loses half his life to Roshan. There's that constant pound in a moment. Gonna try and get that level 6 up and about. And Bat Rider kills off Dazzle on that uh, on that safe lane. So Go Black get himself caught out. Uh, now Dandy coming in with the Omni Slash. Pink slashes all around. Yay, Dandy. Gonna go for a spin though. Would it be a fate ball enough damage? Nope, the lift just short. Vent score, not enough uh, range to get that catch there. And then he gets the kill with the Omni Slash. The Fissure comes in. Oh, there's a Chronosphere as well. Vent score getting caught out. Now Goomba as well. But Dendi, will he be picked off is the question. X comes in. They're going to look for a kill. They get the call on him and they dunk him down. The Grave going to keep Dendi alive. And now, oh, Love slugs me. I think her voice was meant to build. I uh, was meant to play Axe. This guy is just one hell of a baller. And her voice loves ballers. Well, Bat Rider gonna set the fire to the ground, take off the take off the creep wave. A moment, he's got his eyes blast ready. So we'll see if he does get his aim right. Let's get his aim right and get those kills for his team because right now they really need those kills. It's gonna need uh, they're gonna need more burst damage with the ice blast as well as the chronosphere. So it's gonna be very pretty important. Two two and zero on that Bat Rider. The Mask of Madness completely uh, completed here for the Faces Void. Really could have used it in the last co engagement, I think. The Mask of Madness could have secured a Dandy kill, but Dandy's really tanky right now. It's got his um, Ring of Basilius, the Yasha, all available for him. It's just really great. 
Koplek gonna just pop the regeneration rune, not really giving a damn. And Rubik with the bouncy rune as well. Dandy gonna farm up the Ancients. Doesn't have the mana for the healing ward just yet, but he will have it in a bit. Yeah, it's gonna be just in time as well. Uh, Edie, 40 minutes in. Finally got his Echo Slam. And he's gonna be looking to make some plays with it. Vanscore. Really wants that level 6 as well. Chronosphere will be nice. Fissure will be great to steal. There's so many great things for him to steal right now. I don't think he can wait. And X. Now finally picking up finally picking up his dagger. Gotta blink for showing off. Oh shake. Ooh. Killing of Dazzle once again. So Goblack once again testing the limits of um, positioning and trying to stretch out as far as possible see where he can get to without getting caught so far hasn't have the hasn't had the best of luck and now the Midas gets on to our man so when they're playing greedy uh, Goomba are gonna be playing the greed game here and Vansko nearly level 6 really wants that level 6 those pushing up the top lane on his own lonesome baiting in. It's almost, it almost looks like a bait because he's so far up alone without the tier 1 tower to support him. It really looks like a bait and we'll see if they do actually fall for it as a chronosphere forward. Now Havos is in trouble. Is he gonna spin? The ice blast as well. Havos is gonna die. Havos is gonna die guys. Yeah that's not gonna happen. They punch him in the face and down he goes. They they blow a few ultimates on him and this guy's in trouble. A moment's in a lot of trouble. The gods rough very unnecessary. They're very, very unnecessary. And Phobos gets pushed back, but the healing wall comes up. Dandy is ready for action. Omni Slash cuts through the team there, cuts through the bad rider as well. Triple kill here for Phobos. They jump up uh, to the high ground exists, will stay out of trouble for now. He's gonna pop his mask of madness and get the heck out of dodge. And go black gonna healed up by his team. The healing ward goes in and Dandy wants to go for Roshan. So can't blame him. Really can't blame him. The healing ward just make Roshan so much easier. But now the healing ward is down so he might take a little bit more damage. Still not gonna stop himself and there's the Ice Blast coming in though. This could deter him. Yeah, this is gonna deter him. Oh, bash! Bash, 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 bash. The slam as well nearly landing onto him. And now it's gone, they're gonna pop the heals once again, they're gonna heal bomb Roshan. And they're gonna get this one. So Aegis gonna be pretty uncontested here. A moment did uh did drop a nice vortex in looking to find something, but it doesn't get it. Earthshaker gets himself a blink tag as 17 minutes into the game. And it's gonna land some surprises for Navi if they're not careful. Chill. See up at 81 last hits, 2 and 3 on his scoreboard, 8,003 for Dendi, we have 8,000 for Phobos, 6,000 for Havost, and then we have the 5k for the bat. So really, so far it's not uh, not the best game for the bat rider, but Goblack once again going to be testing his uh, limits, the poison touch is going to be disjointed there, Juggernaut looking for a kill once again. And with this Aegis, I wouldn't expect, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if they do actually approach mid lane or even go for bottom. I think they might go for bottom uh, since the tier 1 tower is still up. But mid lane is really half health, lower than half health. So it could be taken out by a good push. Avos, very far more X right now. He's got his Blink Dagger, got his Vanguard. Let's use the solo smoke. Bottom Observer what? Oh wow, picks up an invisibility rune, so that's gonna really help him a lot. There's a lasso forward, Dendi gets hit by an ice blast. There's a TP in from the Venomancer as well. They go for the Omni Slash, maybe. Yep, they go for the Omni Slash. Oh boy! It's gonna cut through them. Very unfortunate that he doesn't get that kill though. The killing what was get popped, and he does have an Aegis for round two. This void is trapped in creeps. He does drop the weave though. And Dendi is gonna be pushed back. There's gonna be the Oh Shaker, oh Shaker, no they will catch him, Echo Slam keeps Goblack out of commission here. He will pop the Grave and TP out, will he actually get out of here? Nope, he will not. He will not get out of here, so Goblack will go down, Dendi goes down, but X destroys the tower. And that's a big streak going over as well, that's a dominating streak going over to Bat Rider. It will be his 4 staff complete now. And what's Havos looking at? Havos is just looking to farm. He's been playing very controlled recently, a little bit out of position every once in a while, but you know. Still does what it does. And uh, Vansko gonna be stacking up the ancients here for Axe as well as the Juggernaut. Hasn't gotten a spell stolen for now. 
And how, how's Phobos going? BKB first! Wow! BKB first on his Zeus. Uh, a moment. Going for Midas. Gonna work towards that Aghanim Scepter. Really needs that farm. And the BKB is complete as well. BKB Zeus. This is new for me. This is definitely new for me. Uh, but it, it, it's gonna work. I mean, he, there's a lot of magical damage. There's uh, Fissure. There's Ice Blast. There is the Venu Ultimate. So I, I think it's uh, understandable that he wants to get that. And I like this uh, Manta style here for Dendi. It will help him dodge a lot of nonsense. Can be used for mind games again once uh once again. Four, one and five now, 134 lasted, then 9400 gold on the Zeus. Bat Rider kills off Rubik once again. So the support's just getting picked off non-stop uh, around the map. Just showing the team fight. There's a uh, thousand XP going Goomba's way. But the XP and gold graph are still in Navi's favor. Radiance bottom tower Goblet, is the medallion now. Looking for a kill a moment. He's not at the Midas yet, but he's getting there slowly, but surely Havos jumps on it, catches RMN, the God's Wrath once again! Shlucks me! You might be a little bit too far in for this, and yeah, he's gonna just back out, he says, okay, that's just too painful for me. They're gonna blink in, they're gonna go after Shlucks me, Shlucks me, gonna get caught in the Ice Blast as well, Shlucks me down. Shlucks me down. Go Black, not there to save his buddy there, but unfortunately, I think Havos might have dived in a little bit too deep for his own good. Going for BKB as well. I think that's what he needs. Once he gets BKB, and then we go ham. For now, his ham just gets sliced and diced. Phobos now going back for more Zeusy items, uh, namely the Aghanim Scepter. And the Milstrom is complete by Exist, and we have Van Score taking a party break. Just kidding, he's just going for a disconnect. Having some net issues, probably. It's, uh, it's Goomba Gaming versus Navi for you guys just tuning in. One and one, it's a best of three. And, well, Starlight of Season 12, Navi uh, have been having a tough time against Goomba. Even in game number 2 where they won, it was, a, it was a rather tough game for them. Even though they had to play it very controlled, and Goomba did a lot of work. Make them earn that win, that's for sure. And, alright, the reconnect comes in from Rubik. I gotta go. Gonna go, maybe? Ping, 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 ping. Big stack here for Havos if he wants it. Alright, Havos calls for the G. 25 minutes in. He has got another 25 seconds on that death timer. Alright, here we go. We're back in the game. 12 and 9 is the kill score right now. 1800 gold. The Rubik looking for that Blink Dagger. This Earthshaker, I really say, man, ED or Ed. Uh, he's quite the support player. Getting that Blink Dagger, getting a Star of Wizardry on that Earthshaker. Um, this three games has been playing impressive so far. First game on that Rubik, second game on the Witch Doctor. Even, if they lo even when they lost, it was a great, great Witch Doctor. And now ED. He's gonna look for he's gonna look for a kill here with the faces void, some fissure and echo slam to start off things, and then follow it up with the chronosphere beat up. See how well that is actually done though. Still looking for the roams. Uh, they do scout out a dandy kill. Yep, it's gonna be a dandy kill. There's a chronosphere. That's the follow up, but dandy's so tanky. Grave. Oh man, your day has just been ruined. The Chronosphere, gotta catch uh, catch him now. No no need for that, you gotta save it for now. And oh, Dandy does get the Omni Slash on the Faceless Void. So well, that's two kills, that hunting party going wrong. Dazzle always ruining fun. Dazzle ruins your fun, that's for sure. When you're on the receiving end of a Dazzle, it's never fun for you. And Dandy now pops the Manta Star. Um, looking for more kills there. Chill, trying to find a kill onto Dandy. It's gonna be pretty crazy. Alright, traps, maroons him on the cliff. Okay. Uh, interesting. Alright, now he's gonna get touched by the priest. He's gonna be really careful about this. There's a chronosphere for this uh, for this Rubik. So you don't wanna play with this Rubik. He, he ain't playing. And chill. He knows what's up. Gotta back off for now. Siege creep. I'm so jealous whenever I, I see someone get it. I, I don't know how to time it properly under the tier 1 tower. Uh, Ancient Apparition picks up his hand of Midas. 
It's gonna have um, that extra income now to work towards this Academic Scepter. Although Hand of Midas technically is halfway there, it's really hard to earn the other half. So the Midas is gonna help a lot as well with the level acquiring, and it's great when you're a level star, uh, when you're farm staffed. Zeus and his BKB has not been used to yet. Phobos has just been farming a lot. Uh, but despite, hit, despite it though, he still has 5 kills and 0 deaths. So Phobos, he's quite the hell of a farmer. He farms in Spirit Breaker, farms in Zeus, this guy is just a farmer. Maybe he should just play carry. Let Havos play the YOLO offlane. Alright, the um, Eel Scepter of Divinity. Eel's now done for the Bad Rider. Venomance are very low in health, they have to play very careful, Dandy, with his Juggernaut. Looking good so far. Now I'm gonna push the wave, take this tier 1 tower after so long. The Observer, the, the Venomots are going down, but it might not be too good. Yeah, the Gill going in there, are we gonna steal? Oh, we got a Chronosphere! <laughs> oh yeah, Rubik can walk through his. Yeah, it's gonna be feeling pretty happy about that. Fissure. Juggernaut kills off the Ancient Apparition, then we're gonna slam onto Vanskull. Vanskull realizes that he is alone in this action. Never mind, here comes Axe, calls up the wave with the Creep Wave as well. Easy dunky on ED, ED poor guy gets picked off and this guy gets ticked down by Creeps. He got picked off by Creeps, the Venomans are poison as well, more than enough. And the Omni Slash once again makes short work of uh, Ancient Apparition in the middle lane. Dendi is uh, sitting at a very comfy score of 6 and 1. We have a chase here on Fawn Havos. Havos has the hunger on the Bat Rider, so the Bat Rider will not be able to blink while hungry. And go black. He may be 0, 3, and 5, but he, you can trust him to play Abaddon and Dazzle. Those two, those two heroes are his life saving heroes that he loves playing so much. He likes saving lives. I think Go Black is that kind of player. He likes Trien, he likes his, uh, he likes his Chen. Like a baton, like dazzle. He's that guy. He's that guy you always want to chill with. But then again, the tower goes down to Dandy's illusions. Uh, Ed was unable to deal with this. And right now, a moment still farming up the jungle, looking for farm. Phobos nearly has his Academy Scepter. Drops a bolt on the high ground. He will clear this observer one two shots. Go black. Looking towards a 4 staff, needs about 300 more gold. And Dendi still farm the jungle, so alright, we're gonna still farm the jungle here. Are the smokes gonna come here for for Goomba? Roshan respawns. Thank you game, the smokes are done. Alright, so we're gonna go round 2. This does seem a little bit familiar. Okay, the God's Wrath does land, they are just gonna blink away instead. I'm surprised they didn't actually go for it. Uh, the BKB was activated here by Havos. It was fearing the worst and used it. Can't blame him, but they do bait out a 10 second PKB charge, so that's a win for Goomba. Daddy now the Scotty complete 26 minutes in Scotty Manta style. What is this guy's GPM? 611 right now. He has a lot of items, and they're still gonna just wait for an opportunity to do Roshan. The steal here from the Rubik will steal the time walk. Pretty eff effective spell to steal. It does allow you to jump on in and blink out, blink out, jump right out. You know, stuff like that. Gives you the extra ability to escape. So it'll slow people down and proceed with the chase, initiating, if you will. I think it's a great choice. And now Havos, with the haste rune, is going to find a moment. Misses on the call, though. Realizes he doesn't need it. Just clangs him right over the head. And Zeus, now with the Aghanim Scepter. And that potential level 16 coming on soon. It's going to be enough. And call black. 0 4 for him. The poor guy. Never catches a break. Fisher, steal it. Nope, not gonna happen. Ow, oh, Echo Slam as well. Vance Core getting caught out there. Round two, but no, Time Walk keeps him alive. Dunk, do we see a dunk? Do I hear a dunk? Dunk, round one. Dunk, round two. No need. Fate Bolt takes out the Earth Shaker. No mana for him anyway. Her first kiss came in to save a friend. Uh, but yeah, the Time Walk, like I said, proving useful for Rubik. He does do Echo Slam though. So the next slam could be big. Vance Core. He's that kind of guy that really, really lays it down thick with his Rubik. Level 16 Zeus. Level 16 Zeus. Aghanim's Void. Alright, they're going to rely on the stuff they throw in the Chronosphere rather than the Void himself. 
Better Mansa picks up his ag uh, Aghanims as well. It's gonna be the team Aghanims, to be honest. Only Bat Rider doesn't have it. And the Ice Blast will fly, it will land in the Rush Pit. It will do some damage, but Dandy is still looking pretty healthy for now. And of course, you don't want to test the Bat Rider. The bounty rune, oh going for the lasso there, chill, in a lot of trouble, the Omni Slash could follow up, I think he doesn't want to take the risk, there was an Eul Sept to debate out the Omni Slash, and then he wasn't foolish enough to try it. And the fight over the Rosh Pit begins, 16k net worth for Dendi, and the first guy is Bat Rider on Team Kumba. German boys, kind of falling apart here, they're not careful. Those two tier goal. Does he go for the Crimson Guard? Not picking up this game. I guess he doesn't. He hasn't been receiving as much physical damage. The blink to the high ground here for the Rubik. <laughs> Gonna look for a big Echo Slam, I would imagine. 60 seconds of that one. ED. $322 right now. 1, 6, and 8. Doing his best to stay in Earth Shaker can. And that's go. Still hiding the trees there. Alright, Daddy's ready for some action. He's got 2.5k gold. Havos has got his BKB. I think it's go time. Four stuff for uh four stuff for the Dazzle as well. Now we're gonna blink forward. There we go, blink forward. Drops the drops the Agonim Scepter Ultimate onto him. There's the Omni Slash as well. Iron Man with his uh, Popper's Ultimate. There's really just not gonna be enough there. The double kill here. Uh, from both the Omni Slash as well as the Fate Ball. It's going to be an easy kill. And Scotty Slash is coming in there. Chill. Just needs one or two more hits. But no. The Chronosphere catches them all in there. Havos getting caught out once again. Is that going to be a Grave? Grave Havos. Not going to happen. The Grave will not happen. It won't be stuck. Use for Dendi. And will not get that kill. Now in the end he just Graves himself. And Vanscore is on a killing spree. Playing the hero he loves so much. I think it might be a bad idea Mr. Bat. Bad idea. The Blink is available. He does have Chronosphere. Could catch some big plays. He can make some big plays with his Chrono and the Blink Daggers. Rank 3 Chrono Sphere as well. It will trap for 5 seconds uh, to everyone except for Void. And now the Aghanims is complete though. Rubik still working to his Aghanims. Needs another 1005 to buy his father's masterpiece. Uh, Bad Rider not ready to give it up just yet. Going for Roshan. Alright, Roshan's gonna go now faster than you can say, Roshan. Roshan! There we go. Roshan goes down, Blink Chronosphere catches the Bat Rider. Oh, and lifts him up as well. The Fisher will trap off Vanskar. Vanskar way in over his head. Never mind, just kidding. Echo Slam though. He jumps himself into an Echo Slam. Chill. Get it caught out. BKB onto Phobos. Phobos, too cool for you. And Edie gets right clicked by Phobos. This Zeus player is just uh, such a baller. 25 seconds for the next Chronosphere. It's not going to be ready for it just yet. Uh, Havos finally reviving. Uh, that, that team fight went on 4v5 and Echo Slam just wasn't enough when there was no... Ice Blast to follow things up with. So, in the end, they lose another fight, showing the team fight recap. Yeah, 3000 XP swing to Navi and the Gold Graph as well. Oh, Thunder God's wrong. <laughs> Dazzle gets the kill. Medallion, very strong stuff with Dazzle spells. Really makes you do a lot of burst damage. And of course, with the Orbital Strike Cannons, you can just really sit back. And relax. And now the refresher warp is on its way. Phobos is gonna have a great time getting free kills all the way. Because if you check out their life points, there's a thousand life for the Earthshaker. The Ancient Apparition, I imagine, will have a lot less. Being a intelligence hero with no stat items uh, apart from the point booster, it will have about a thousand life as well, I would say. But it's about to revive here, so we'll just check it the old fashioned way. Alright, I see someone roaming in. There's a faces boy coming into Phobos. Really, Phobos is gonna get caught out. Is he gonna get killed though? Is the question. Yeah, he will. There you go. Six seconds. Good enough. Faces boy takes him out. And this is one of the reasons why you pick up that, uh, that Aghanim Scepter. Quick cooldowns, long duration, allows you to go for solo kills without much repercussion in the later team fights. So there's a much needed kill. I think Goomba really needed that uh, kill to stay in it. And I never doubt a team with faces void. It always. Um, it always comes comes through for for teams that survive long enough. And uh, Butterfly though is done for the Juggernaut. So Dandy is really fat. So we'll have to see if he 
uh, does throw. But I don't think they, they seem to be throwing. Navi is looking to play very safe here. Dandy jumping in there. Is he gonna flutter? Pop the Mask of Madness. He goes on in. That's the Omni Slash as well. Ah, oh, wow. Two hits. Not enough. Uh, doesn't want to drop an Omni Slash on that one. So you will let the Ancient Apparition live for now. The Ice Blast will fly backwards. And there's a lasso as well. Catches Skull Black. Is it going to be an Omni Slash? It will be an Omni Slash. Big Echo Slam. But he comes in and collects that Omni Slash as well. The dunk goes round one onto him. But the Grave and the um, and the positive Weave buff just makes Exist do zero damage. Iron Man catching both heroes there with his Poison Nova. Does do a lot of damage. The Exist comes in looking for that first hit bash on the Hobos. Dandy losing a lot of life though. Has to be very careful. The God's Wrath getting disjointed there by the backtrack. Pops his ultimate first hit bash. Oh man. Dandy loses his life. On that, uh, on that hit, but there's Nagus, and there's a lift up here. Exist in a lot of trouble. He will get a time walk crit in the spine. Down he goes. Dandy will get that kill to jump forward as well. Van score jumping forward as his Rubik, losing a lot of life there. The cold feet, but he does buy enough time for his buddy, uh, for his buddy Dandy to come on in with that ultra kill. Dandy just soloing them. 1v5, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We're out of Goomba heroes for now, so we'll just settle for Goomba tier 2 towers. DK Phobos back in the action, still farming, that guy really loves farm. And Goomba, they had a good run in game number one, but this game is not looking too hot for them. Looks like Na'Vi is back and blazing, uh, blazing forward, they are not going to stop anytime soon. Shiva's got now picked up by Havos and Goomba are really just, you know, having to just take, sit back and take this all like a man and Havos. 7, 4, and 2. I told you this hero is his. And oh, they're going to pull him back into the fight. Are they going to kill him though? I think it's the question. Oh, BKB. Enough hesitation. We'll get you devastation. And Havos. Going to be healed up. They're going to push him back. There's the Ice Blast coming in here. They're going to look at him. They're going to find him. They call him up. And chill. Not getting any spins. Havos getting very unlucky here. Where are the spins? Not going to get any spins. Dandy really wants to go in for this kill. But he doesn't have his Aegis. So it's very risky to play this game right now. Faces Boy TPing to the front lines. No, he's TPing to the side. He really wants that kill. A nice Omni Slasher. We'll take out the Engine Apparition. There'll be no Ice Blast. The Haste Zeus going to be zooping in and out. He will have that ability uh, to really burst someone down real quick, real fast. Ton of God's Wrath is ready. 640 damage awaits the entire team of Goomba. And the Earthshaker is out. 15 seconds. Ancient Apparition in 29. Will they be able to hold that long? Here's the question. This face is void looking to come in from the back there. And the Bat Rider now picks up his own Black King Bar. Like I said, this game is just all about magic and physical damage mixed. And it's just really hard to accessorize on Goomba. Team Goomba here exists. He does pick up the Crystallis, so it's going for that Daedalus. A very smart choice. I'm gonna say, we'll be able to do it. maximize the amount of damage he can do in that Chronosphere. And Iron Man is uh, his old combo wombo of Ancient Apparition. Hasn't been working out so well so far. And Iron Man, 1, 5, and 8 on his Venomancer. The carry Venomancer didn't really work out as planned. The, the ward coverage on this thing is not exactly the best. And you really want those big ward coverages to try and deal with this axe or whatnot. But now Juggernaut is just really stupidly farmed. So that could be a problem as well for them. Level 25 on Dendi. 14, 1, and 9. Dendi has been doing well in this past two games. Uh, and Exist really is just doing his best to stop this Juggernaut. But they don't have the burst damage unless they catch him. Uh, with a lasso and really in the crossfire here and focus him with Ice Blast and Chronosphere, yeah, he will go down. But it's uh, it's just so difficult because the fight's nearly over when he just Omni Slashes because there's the follow up Thunder God's Wrath that does 640 to the entire team and it's just really, really hard to deal with right now. So that's why Extendent exists. He's just waiting for some unlucky fool to come by. I think they can kill anyone one on one, but as a team, it's gonna be a lot harder. Four, three, and five now. What's up for a moment? Does he have his Aghanim Scepter yet? Nope. Two and eight does do that to you. Uh, Goomba, one and ten. He might actually be receiving negative fantasy points this game if he's not careful. Jang, jang, jang. Chill. This guy doing a great job so far as a bad rider as well. But I can't judge him as a player because he's only played bad rider these three games. Oh, Phobos. Your love for farm will be your undoing. BKB popped in time, what the hell? There we go, there's the turnaround. The dunk one and two, Shluxmi scores an easy one 
for his team. And are we going to get the kill here onto Faces Void? Nope, not going to be it. And Havos just looking for that play there. Unable to find it though. So very unfortunate. 33 and 17. Goomba loses another two more on that kill. They tried to score on that. Zeus, who now has a refresher op. So Heaven is coming back. It's going to be striking really hard back with a vengeance. And those still not upgrading into Crimson Guard, likes the good old fashioned Vanguard to do his work for him. And now gonna be marching down the lane on his own lonesome Dandy. Hasn't found a hero kill in quite a bit for right now. Just staying back and farming. 38 minutes in. He says, ah boys, let's go at the tower. And yeah, plus coming in, but there's no lasso to pull up. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. And now they're going to continue chopping away at this tier 2 tower. This tower is going to crumble 38 minutes in. And Phobos does get a D-Ward going his way. Refresh show up, double ultimate. Going to be off cooldown in 20 seconds. We could hear triples, we could hear double, uh, quadruples, ultra kills. We could hear rampages. We'll see. Or oh, is it going to be Dendi's? You never know. But now defense is going to be coming. Exist does have a 6 second chronosphere that he can really apply. He has the lasso onto Dendi. Dendi's going to get co feeded up. And he's definitely going to get co feeded up. There he is, your Juggernaut. He's going to get stunned right off the bat. He chronospheres and well, blocks them all in there. Dendi goes down, but a double ultimate here from the Zeus. That's a double kill already. And are we going to get it? No need for that. Havos does get the dunk across. Exist now without his ultimate. I'm not sure what he really plans to do here. There's a Midas available for the Zeus. Not using it off cooldown. And Havos getting pushed back. And the Zaps coming in, coming in all the way. And once again, Navi do not take racks. They do take two tier three towers though. Makes it a little bit easy for them, but still, it's a uh, it's a it's a tough life if you don't take racks and lose so many heroes because it makes your exchanges less and less worth it. But so far, the fights have been going on spectacularly well. The gold graph is at thirty thousand. Pretty insane. The acronyms is complete for the ancient apparition though. That's that's a big fight changer. Oh, there we go, Lasso coming up here, pulling the Rubik on the high ground, he's got enough of his shit. And they're gonna lift him up, chill, gonna toss that down, the heals coming up from Dazzle, keeps him alive. The Chronosphere catches four, three of them, Dazzle in it as well, he should not be caught in there, but the Juggernaut going there with the Omni Slash, Dices, uh, defaces for it to bits. Glowback does have the Eel Scepter as well as the Healing Ward, and now going in there, the Call coming in, he will pull back a moment, a moment gets caught, but the Lightning Pot steals it. Uh, DK Phobos, just really getting the kills there, and now they're going in for RMN, are we going for RMN? Yep, we're gonna go for RMN, that's the X jumping in there, getting the call on the chill, chill will not be able to chill after this one, spins himself into the air, but just de delaying, the, uh, delaying the inevitable, X gets another kill once again, mega kill on him, 11-4 and 6 X is really one of a kind. Uh, for a lot of heroes, a lot of players as well. And now this here, uh, this mid rex is going down, the bottom rex is going down, and I think Goomba might actually just tap out of this, although they would have effectively lost the best of three at this point, so tapping out is not exactly worthwhile. Unless maybe they're rushing up to lunch or something. And there's a big slam, going slamming right in, but Dandy pops his, uh, pops his magic immunity in time, and he will live to dodge that skill. And still going in there, drops the healing ward. Her post just too tanky for this bad rider, unable to actually really control him in the fights. Dandy really wants to go for the win here. Just gonna be chopping away the tier 4 towers, not gonna be bothering with split pushing or tower diving, fountain diving for kills. Chill, doesn't have to last so just yet, 40 seconds. And once again, games are caught out. There's a stolen, there's a stolen poison nova there. They're gonna take a lot of damage, chill. <laughs> use that Eel Scepter, everyone using Eel Scepter to run away from their problems. And Venomancer kills off uh, Rubik there with the side, from the site because of that fissure burst damage that ticked them over the edge. And Havos forced to back off, but they do get two sides of Rex. And Dandy really wanted these three or four towers, but he was forced to pull out. And he says, Wait for me. And wow, he even only slashed a solitary Earthshaker. Oh man, Dandy the BM, wait for me, he says, and there's so much health on this guy that he does not even die to the chronosphere, but he will. Shatter will take him out, so that skill is pre-ended, and that's a buyback lost as well, it's 120 seconds, and exist, he's got his crit, he's got his mask of madness, the Daedalus will be coming soon, if he doesn't get forced to buy back, uh, he should have the Daedalus very soon, and Daedalus can do a lot, but once again, he is just one man, and Navi, our team, 
It's gonna be tough. Roshan does respawn. Dazzle, you might not wanna be there, Dazzle. Why are you there, Dazzle? You're alone. So Dazzle just playing chicken. Uh, actually, Void not calling his bluff there, and just charging forward and just retreating. But right now, Phobos is gonna go back to farming his favorite pastime. And wow, stealing Roshan right under their noses. He's gonna go for Roshan without any minus armor, but with the Aghanim Scepter, with the Mask of Death, could be possible. Her boss sees him in there, but a Chronosphere is just too much. He has to use it to escape, and this Roshan will be caught out here. The Ice Blast. Dyer's Middle Tower has fallen. The Tier 4s drop and exist. Pops the Demon Edge. I guess that's uh, this about as good as the time as any. The Chronosphere is still down though. They will catch out Galar Black, which is really tough for him to get. Oh, they get the kill there. Three kills with the Fissure as well. This Fissure was stolen uh, by Rubik. This could be a problem for them. And RMN uses the Gale once again. And oh, that's good Fissure. Catches RMN. Is there a lift forward? Never mind. Here comes the Axe. Shiva's guard as well. No. That's gonna push back. Not gonna bother with it. Level finds himself a bounty rune. Maybe he'll get himself a Crimson Guard now. Nope. He's already full slot at this point. Really can change the Tranquils to boost the travel. But that's about it. Maybe upgrade to a Crimson Guard and call it a day. It's 42 kills on the Navi squad, right? Goomba just grasping at straws at this point. Ancient Apparition has managed to afford a Ghost Scepter. The Roshan is still up. They haven't done it yet. Dendi. He's been sitting around, not getting that. Maybe he just revived. And Void going in there for a second time. Very interesting. He will pop his Mask of Madness soon, I imagine. But here comes the rotations coming uh, coming from the Venomancer. Dropping a Gale onto Havos to secure that. Secure that Rosh Pit. I don't think they can actually get that kill. It pulls him out of Ice Blast range. I'm not sure about how clever that is. BKB does not stop. Omni Slash he will get that kill easily on the enemy team. And this Roshan is about to go down. Both can do something about it. There's your dub. There's your God's Wrath number one. Chronosphere to get out of there in time though. But the Hunger could actually get him killed. Zeus gets a refresh. Refresh? Oh no, never mind. Gets that kill there with his uh, with his battle hunger and now Bobos refreshes uh, the refreshes his ultimate gets a double kill and ends it with a mega as well. Zeus now sitting at 11, 2 and 20. The GGs come out from Goomba as they get team wiped at the Rosh Pit, and that's gonna be that. The Dyer will actually fall here and Goomba, despite a good game one, they still drop two games in a row to Navi. So I guess you could say that the game number one was kind of a warm-up match for Navi because it really felt like a warm-up match. If you see these games and you look at the look at the game from number one, game one, it would be a hugely different story. And well, there's really nothing much else to be said. I mean, this game has been uh, pretty one-sided for the longest time. Dendi just rolling in, crushing everything. And Havos getting all the space in the world. I mean, he did die a couple of times, but Dendi really raking up those fantasy points. Phobos as well. Now we know what kind of player he kind of is. He's that farmer, uh, farmer core kind of guy, despite of, despite the hero he's playing. And regardless, uh, we're gonna see a Navi victory here. So your 72% of your rares were saved. And that's that. We're done with this best of three. We'll be right back after this, after a break with Goomba versus uh, basically unknown. Yes, basically unknown. So we'll see more of the German squad, but we'll say goodbye to Navi for now. And if you like our, uh, if you like my casting, you can follow me on Twitter and Facebook at Lice and Zenora. My name's on the top right corner, and you can follow BTS on Beyond the Summit on Twitter as well as Facebook as well. You'll help you keep track of all our latest updates as well as casts. So yep, stay tuned. We'll be right back with next best of three. For now, much love and Kappa. G2A.com. The best video game store ever! Fast as lightning! Solid as a rock! Cheap as duck! <laughs> What's more, you can sell on it because it's also a marketplace! Remember G2A.com! The best video game store ever!